guys, I'm Kathy. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a dry bag or waterproof bag that I got on eBay. Uh, I was looking for something. I go to a lot of parks um, or rivers, places, and I'm around water sometimes. So I just wanted something to make sure uh, I could keep my phone if I wanted, my purse dry. And I also wanted something big enough. They have smaller ones. They have ones just for your phone and everything in between. And I wanted something, because if I go to a park or a river, whatever, um, sometimes I'm going to be there well, and so I want to pack food or maybe, you know, a little blanket or extra set of clothes or something. And I wanted to make sure I got something big enough. And the reason I got this one is because I liked... I wanted something with straps so I could have it kind of backpack style and I wanted color choices. They had some um, that were less expensive but they didn't have the color that I wanted. So anyway, so um, this one <laughs> I'll put on the screen because I can't remember what size it is but it's pretty large as you can tell. Um, I have a throw blanket. It's not a very thick throw blanket, it's real thin, but just wanted to show you that it does hold, you know, quite a lot of volume in here. Um, so when I was ordering it, I was worried how flimsy was the, the plastic or whatever going to be. And this is pretty, it's pretty rigid, kind of here, um, but not so rigid that I think it's going to get holes poked in it real easily. Um, I think once I start using it, using it, it'll soften up a bit, and it's pretty thick. Um, and then they, the straps are pretty durable. I like, I like them. Um, even the side pocket, I thought some can be really flimsy. This one's um, pretty durable. It's got a little pocket. I don't think it's quite big enough for a phone, but for keys or something, you know, fast access. Um, and so I also wanted to show, so when you're going to close it, you put your things in, like put the blanket in, and you're going to want to get the air out of it, um, at least some of it, and, um, I don't know if you can see the sunlight going through there, kind of squish it down and get the air out, and then, um, a trick for when you're closing it is you want to fold it over, they give you these, um, these are like a canvasy, um, band across the top and that's to help you um because you don't want to roll these bags you want to fold versus roll to get the seal in and so get the air out and you want to fold it over three times so there's one two and three and then you can just um bend it it was hard to bend the first time but like i say it's it's um softening up and then just click it right there the, when I got this, the straps were not attached, and they're pretty durable. I, I like them. Um, and anyway, there you have it. Oh, I was going to say the straps are nice and long. Uh, you can shorten it up for adult. These are not all the way out, and I have a lot of room left. But there's a lot of room. Uh, you can do them, you know, a lot tighter. They go up um, probably to a decent kid size, and... Um, Anyway, I do like this bag. I would definitely buy it again. I love the color of it. Um, I'm from Seahawks territory, and this is like the color of uh, the Seahawks size. So I might, <laughs> I might put something over that. Um, but I definitely would buy it again. Um, it's, you know, for what I paid, I think it's good quality, and I think it's going to hold up a while. So anyway, I, if you're looking for a dry bag, I hope, and this is not a sponsored video. I just didn't see any reviews on it, and so I wondered myself, you know, what was I gonna, what kind of quality thing was I gonna get? Did it look like the picture? Uh, it does, and uh, I gave it a five star. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.